Hey, George here. Welcome to this video where I show you how to play Procol Harum's Whiter Shade of Pale on guitar and harmonica. So we got a great, great bass line going through this. And uh, there's this iconic organ solo. And we'll do that on the harmonica. So we'll pick out the right key harmonica and, and tab all of that out for you so you can put that together with this great little bass line, right? And, and chord progression. Uh, just a great song. Okay, so let's do this. Okay, so whiter shade of pale in the key of C. We're gonna start this off, and it's um, it's got this walking bass line that goes down, just descending bass line. So we start off with C, and uh, we'll stick to this pretty simple rhythm, but kind of maybe kind of tricky. Anyways, we start off playing bass notes, not necessarily always root notes, but bass notes. So we start off with the C chord. Now this rhythm follows throughout the song, except for a couple of runs that we'll put in. But we basically want to start off on our first beat, just playing a bass note. So starting off with the chord C, we're going to play the bass note C. So that's C, that's our fifth string here on the, in the third fret. That's the note C. So that's the root of our chord C. So that's on, that's our, that's on our first beat. Then nothing happens on the second beat. On the third beat, we'll strum the chord. And the fourth beat, we'll play our bass note again. So for our first measure, it's one, two, three, four. Okay, so it's one, the root, two, three, four, our bass note again. Bass, pause, strum, bass. Two, three, four. Okay, now our second chord is E minor, but we're not going to play an E. We're not going to play the root note here. We want to play uh, B, which is going to be the fifth. The fifth of our E minor chord is B. The three notes in our E minor chord are E, G, and B. So we're going to play the, play the fifth, which is B. So this gives us this nice descending bass line. We go from C to B. So when we're on the E minor, it's the same pattern. We play the, the fifth, our bass note, on one, pause on the second, on the third beat we strum the chord, and on the fourth beat we play our bass note again. So those first two chords, C to E minor. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Now we're going to go to A minor. And a minor, we do want to play the root note, which is A. So we're going to have the C, B, A. So again, same rhythm. We'll play A on the on the on the one on the downbeat. One, two. Play the chord on three, and play the play the bass note again on four. Okay, so we got three chords. Let's do this: C, E minor, with B in the bass. We can say it's E minor over B. We got we're going to play B in the bass, and then to A minor. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Now we're going to go to C with G in the bass. So we're back to our C chord, but we're going to play G in the bass here. So this is how that C with G in the bass looks. All right, so I got a little turnaround here. We're going to put our third finger up on that sixth string in that third fret and use our fourth finger on the uh, fifth string in that third fret. Okay, so let's do this. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, so there's our first four chords. So we C, E minor with B in the bass, to A minor, to C with G in the bass. So we got the C, B, F, F, okay, and we're going to do that by playing the F chord, and I play my, I'm going to play the F chord with, like this, with, use my thumb wrapped around here to play that bass note. So that's that F chord, so that's that F bar, one, two, three, four, okay, so let's put that in there, one, two, three, We 
just going to take that off and play an F with an E in the bass. Okay, so that's putting our major, a major seven in the bass there. So it's kind of a different uh, chord altogether there, but it works. So let's let's play that C E minor A minor G. Actually, C with G in the bass. down to an E, right? We've got C, B, A, G, F, E. So the next note would be D, but we can't go any further than this, so we're going to jump up the octave. We're going to play a D minor chord here, and we'll start with playing D, which is going to be our fourth string open. So that's the D minor bar. Now we're going to do a little run up. We're going to come up to uh, the chord of G, but we want to do a little a little bass line or a little run that come, brings us up to G. And we'll do that by playing C, D, which is the fourth string open, E, which is that uh, fourth string second fret, F, fourth string third fret. So that's a... So that brings us up, and then the next note can be G, which will drop down the octave here, but we'll play that G chord. So we're coming from a D minor, and we want to get up to the G chord. So that's how we're going to do that. So we're going to, well, let's let's run to our D minor chord here. C, E minor, A minor, C over G, F, F with E in the bass, Same rhythm, G, G. And we're going to do G with F in the bass. So I'm going to play that like that. So there's my, here's my F here, and there's my G there. So it's okay. So it's uh, so we've gone around and we've gotten ourselves up. We did C, D, E, F. Now we're on G, G with F in the bass. Then we're going to play E minor. go to a G7 and we're going to play it with the D in the bass which is going to be that fourth string here open okay so again we do our little run up to G F, play the F up here, which is on that fourth fret, our fourth string, sorry, third fret. It's going to be our played here with our little finger. Now, at this point, we can either go back to C or we can go to G. And then this really depends on, on what part we are in the song. If we're doing the organ solo, if we're playing the chords behind the organ solo, we from this F, we would go to G. If we were ending at the end of the chorus, we go from F to C. And if we were in the middle of a verse, we never would even come to this F. We would have continued on and through. And you'll see as we go through the song how these uh, different parts of the song, how the, how the chord structure is. But let's go through this again. So this is the main part, and this is in all of the parts. So this is in the organ solo. This is in the verse. This is in the chorus. So we start with C. To E minor. To A minor. To C with G in the bass. To F. To F with E in the bass. To D minor. C, D, E, F, G. To F in the bass. To E minor. To G7. Now, if we're in the middle of a verse, we're at our C, we can just go back like to the top and we're going to continue back and go to the E minor. Okay, so 
if we're in the middle of the verse, that's what we do. So let's let's do that, and let's just put a little bit of lyric here behind so you can understand kind of what we're doing here. So start on C. We skip the light fandango. Turn cartwheels across the floor. I was feeling kind of seasick. The crowd call out for more. And the room was humming hard. This is where I call the chorus. And so it was. And that's on a G7. We're going to do this. And so it was. And then we're going to back to our C. And then we can do our run back down again. So that's, a, that's the little change in this whole progression. So. And so it was. That lady. As the miller told his tale That her face at first just ghostly Turned a whiter shade of pain So at the end of our chorus we're going to, instead of, we don't continue around like we did in the verse where we continue from our C, we go to the E minor, to the A minor. At the end of the verse, or the end of the chorus, sorry, we go from C, turn to, turn to white, shade of pain. So C to F to C. And then we're going to do this little, this little uh, run. G, which is our sixth string, third fret. A, fifth string, open. B, fifth string, second fret. And then we're going to do the G, which is our sixth string, third fret again. And then land on the C. G, A, B, G, C, E minor. All right, so that's a little turnaround to get us back into, back into our next verse. Okay. So the only difference where this all occurs are, well, we've got a couple of differences, right? depending if we're going to continue on our verse or if we're ending at the end of the chorus or if we're at the end of our organ solo. And in this case, we're going to do a mouth organ solo, right? At the end of that, it's a C to F to G. So rather than C to F to C, which we'd have at the end of our chorus, at the end of our solo, we're going to C to F to G with the same little run that gets us back to our C. G, G, A, B, G, C. Okay, so that's the whole progression of the song. So we'll go through it, we'll play through it, but right now, let's add our harmonica. We're going to start off, we're in the key of C, so we're going to play in first position, so we're using A, C harmonica. So our harmonica is the key of C. We're going to start off with a blow five. Once we get to our A minor, we're going to do a draw four, blow four, draw three. We're going to do a little rundown. So that's blow five down to a draw three. So blow five, draw four, blow four, draw three. Then come back up, blow four, draw four, blow five. Then we're gonna do a blow four up to our draw six. So let's do that again. So blow five down to a draw three, 
Back up to a blow five, blow four, draw six. Then we're going to do a draw seven, blow seven. And then a draw five, blow five, draw five, real quick. So draw, draw six. Then all the way up to a draw seven. So let's, let's work through that. Starting on the blow five, down to the draw three, back up. four up to a blow seven blow seven draw seven blow six draw five blow six so that blow six draw five blow six is it's that quick like we're doing with that draw five blow five draw five in the earlier so let's start that again Draw five, blow five, draw five, draw five, blow five. Right? Draw four, blow four. Draw six. To a blow six. So put that together with a little bit of guitar here Here we've gone to the G right up, right right after the F. Doesn't do that during the verse or the end of the chorus, right? But we do that here, the end of the organ solo. And that little end little piece is a draw five, blow five, draw five, draw four. Let's run this a couple of times. So there's Procol Harum's White or Shade of Pale. That's how I do it on guitar and harmonica. So use what I've given you here and put together your own version. Okay? Right on. See you in the next one.